Hey YouTube, Health Cowboy coming at you today from Plano, Texas. Today I want to talk about vitamin D. Vitamin D, the synthetic version that most people buy in the vitamin stores and stuff like that, it's a uh, colocalciferol. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but at any rate, that's what they use in rat poison to kill rats. So what are your thoughts about that? Do you want to keep taking it? Do you think you need to take massive doses of it? Personally, I believe the best way to get vitamin D is from sunlight laying out in the sun, exposing your skin to the sun. I know a lot of you have been taught that the sun causes skin cancer or whatever. Well, I don't believe that. I lay out in the sun several times a week and I don't have skin cancer. I believe skin cancer is caused by slathering on chemical laden sunscreen and then getting out in the sun and sweating and it's absorbing your skin is absorbing all those chemicals. Blah, blah, blah. That's how you get sick. The sun does not make you sick. The best way to get vitamin D is sunlight. Certain foods like cod liver oil, salmon, tuna, mackerel, and eggs. Plants can, some plants have vitamin D as well. So anyway, I'm in the link in the description below. I'm going to put some links to material safety data sheets for uh, coli calciferol. This is the chemical that the vitamin manufacturers are calling vitamin D. And everybody's taking it because everybody's recommending it. Well, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. What are your thoughts? I mean... Would you willingly take rat poison if you knew it was rat poison? So anyway, we'll catch you later. We'll talk in the next video. Thanks for watching.